What's up everyone, this is All Targets Tech, and in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the new iOS update, iOS 14.2 Beta 1. Now this was just recently released about an hour or two ago, and I just installed it on this phone. And this is a significant update just because iOS 14 recently dropped a day or two ago. So this is pretty cool because this is the next beta of software for developers and we get to see all the new features and changes and I'll be showing you guys that in this video. So there's quite a few cool ones that I would like to show you guys. And on top of that, I just want to apologize for not uploading uh, very much recently just because I've been busy. I am now in plumbing school and I'm slowly getting back into YouTube, I guess. So yeah, let's get started with the actual video. So the first thing I want to show off is super duper cool. So if you go to the control center, you can go ahead and hold down on this and you now have a new music view. So that way you can go ahead and play songs from the control panel. So you can see you get like this really cool view like this. It'll show the album artwork. And on top of that, I heard that is rumored to suggest music to you if you are not playing any music at that time. Now, something that's interesting is that if you try to tap out of it, it it's kind of weird. It only works at the top of the screen, or at least that's just for this device. So there are a few other cool changes to the control center that I would like to show you as well. All right, guys, so I don't know if you know this, but Apple actually bought out Shazam last year. And what's really cool is because of this, Apple has integrated it into the control center on the iOS 14.2 beta one home screen, or I should say control center. So in the past, whenever you heard a song that you liked and you never knew the name of it, you used to just be able to hold down on the home button and activate Siri and say, hey, Siri, what song is this? But now you no longer need to do that. Now all you need to do is swipe up and then just click this little button and then the iPhone will recognize what song is playing and you will see it says no result just because I wasn't playing any music. But I'm assuming that it'll come down with the name of the song and it'll open right up in Apple Music. Now unfortunately, it looks like there is no Spotify support because this is purchased by Apple and Apple is going to enforce their own services over third party ones because this is Apple's ecosystem. Now on top of this guys, this isn't an iOS 14.2 uh, specific update, but something I want to mention is apps are going to have support for iOS 14 like crazy because they've had the past month or two to develop the correct version of app software for this iPhone update. And what I mean by that is you will notice that more and more apps will slowly be supporting iOS 14 widgets and you can see there are so many cool ones that will be added to the app store and this is just the google one this is pretty cool because you can immediately search something just by tapping on the search and if you have the app already open you get this really cool animation it's very well done because all you do is you just tap on search and it's a very seamless animation that looks very like legitimate it doesn't seem like siri shortcuts used to be siri shortcuts was very like rushed last minute. That's the way it looked whenever you used to run a Siri shortcut. Whereas this is very well done, very Apple-like, and I, I very much appreciate that. Something I want to show you guys is there are going to be different types of widgets for apps. And what I mean by that is Google is going to have like a small widget and a large widget. And so this is going to be super cool. Now, unfortunately, not every app has support yet, but it's just going to be a matter of time. I know Robinhood has support so you can see your stocks and things like that. And overall, super duper cool. But so far, everything, in my opinion, has been running smooth. I haven't noticed any hiccup. It's actually running very well on this iPhone. I'd have to say, for how old this iPhone is, iOS 14 is holding up great on this device. So I would actually recommend updating to iOS 14 if you have an older device. It's not an update that I would try to stay away from. So that's about it for this video, guys. Just a quick little update as to what is new since the official release of iOS 14. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.